This week's show brought to you by Roosters, a fun casual joint. Frank Shoup, Georgetown's big name in cars. The Bluegrass Method, cutting edge basketball training with Scott County's own Michael Richardson. Welcome everybody to the Scott County Cardinals, Lady Cardinals, in fact, News Graphic Coaches Show, Episode 3. We're here to talk about a perfect week and a perfect season so far for Scott County. They won four games since we last spoke with you. They defeated Sayre, well that was early last week, they defeated Sayre in the first 42nd district game. Running clock victory there. They moved on to Boyle County, a place where, uh, as Coach Elton will tell you, they have not won in the 12th district, uh, 12th region very often. It's just a hard place to play. Some uh, some things tend to be stacked against you when you get down there, but for the first time since 2005, SC picked up a big win in that one. That was also a 35-point margin in the fourth quarter. Ran away with that one. Came back home the next day, Saturday afternoon, snowy outside, cold. Played Clay County, and it, was, uh, it wasn't a cold start, but it was an off and on, I would say, fits and starts. Kind of like a car charging uphill. It wanted to hesitate a little bit. That's where Scott County was that day. It was 36-30 to 30 at halftime, and then they pulled away in the third quarter for the win. And they came back on Monday, so you can see the pattern of game just about every other day, or in some cases back-to-back. -back. This one they had Sunday off, came back Monday, and moved to 2-0 in the 42nd district with a victory over Henry Clay. Not a quick, easy one. It was 7-0 Henry Clay right off the bat, but then SC awakened and shot the lights out for the rest of the game, put up 88 points. And that makes it a 6-0 start, 2-0 in the district. And SC has a couple of days to get ready, actually only one day to get ready, for Frederick Douglass, first ever meeting between those schools on Wednesday night, and then they'll go to Muhlenberg County, long road trip on the charter bus for a Friday night tip-off in the central time zone. And then a few days to get ready for the big tournament at Lexington Catholic, where they're going to see, arguably, not, not arguably, they're going to see their best competition of the year so far. And it will be a good test for kind of going forward to the Toyota Classic in January, and then moving on later on to uh, some of their long-term goals, district region titles, and making a run at states. So, busy time for the Lady Cards. It's been a time where different players have stepped up. Morgan DeFore with a career-high 29 points against Henry Clay. Peyton Riddle's been consistent as ever. Malia Owens, when she has been able to overcome foul trouble, has been uh, dominant as well. And you're starting to see some players uh, settle into their roles. People like Zakiah Holt, people like Zephaniah Gray, Lexi Hoffman, the list goes on and on. Uh, Malaya Williams has moved into the starting lineup and she's blocking shots with abandon up there and, and picking up some, some offensive rebounds and some points off the glass as well. So. Everything seems to be falling into place. The pieces of the puzzle are there. And we talked with Coach Helton about that. He's been kind of concerned as the season's gone on. How do we fit those pieces together? And what rotation is the right one at the right time? Seemed like he found some, especially against Henry Clay, uh, settled into that kind of eight or nine person lineup and really took it to the Blue Devils in the second half. Let's hear what Coach Helton had to say about week two of the regular season and uh, the, the big week that's ahead. Scott County was busy with four wins in seven days, all in convincing fashion. You know, it's always good to get off on a, on a positive note. Um, you know, right now, I'm begging for practice time. Because, uh, you know, you play a game, uh, you, you have a shoot around, you play a game, you have a shoot around. Uh, I, we need to practice. Uh, but again, I know the kids, they'd rather be playing uh, than, than practicing three or four days in a row. But, uh, Great beginning of the season. Uh, we, we've we've seen a lot of different top teams. We've seen good teams. We've seen teams who are going to pressure us. We've seen athletic teams, uh, and we've seen how we react. Uh, so, uh, you know, in a tournament setting, you know, this will you know four games in six days, and then we're getting ready to spread that on out here, and uh, you know, with two more games this week, uh, you know, very pleased where we're at. The Lady Cards' depth and speed are wearing down every opponent. I, I think it's our timing. Uh, you know, as far as the rotations, uh, because right now we're 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 just putting we're going on the fly, you know. Uh, certain nights we're, we're we're running different rotations that we don't even seen in practice yet. So uh, I, I think our timing is a huge issue. Uh, you know, we're we're playing hard. So when you play hard, it takes up and it makes up for a lot of your uh, you know. Well, we not play together, we've not practiced together that much. But when you're playing hard, good things happen. And uh, gosh, I I can't say enough about. Um, 
how hard we're playing right now. You know, defensively, we're getting better. Uh, you know, offensively, we're a little further along than I really thought we might be at this time. But uh, defensively, we're, we're slowly but surely catching up. And again, we got to find where we're at with this thing. We're six games in, two scrimmages on top of that. So we're only eight games into this. And uh, we're still trying to figure out some of our strengths and some of our weaknesses. Uh, some of our weaknesses are glaring to me a little more than our strengths right now. But uh, it's early. Winning at Boyle County was a satisfying victory after a long drought in the 12th region. You know, we, we came out early. Uh, you know, that, that game was uh, kind of put out of question early, uh, the way we came out. And, uh, and I think uh, some of it had to do with, I think they start with us uh, in warm-ups. And, you know, our bunch kind of came back to the huddle and, and the pregame speech was cut short because that, that, our, our group didn't like that. And I liked that because they, they had that edge to them. Uh, it was an incredible road win for us, uh, you know. And, and coming in, you know, we, we laughed and we joked about it, but we knew we had to play well uh, in order to, you know, even be in that game. And not only did we play well, but uh, we continued to play well. And, and we, we put, you know, I would say almost four quarters together early in the season. Uh, you know, then you had to bounce back and play an afternoon Clay County game, which Clay County, we've battled Clay County for years. and. We battled the tempo issue with them because no matter what happens, Clay County always finds a way to control the tempo. And, you know, they did for probably 20 minutes of that game. And then, uh, you know, from a 10 to 12 minute spurt, we got up and down and kind of got the lead up. But, uh, you know, Clay County is going to be a team that you're going to hear about in the 13th region. Um, then you bounce back one day later, one day of preparation and play a, a huge district game uh, against, you know, a rival that, uh, you know, it's starting to really heat up uh, between Henry Clay and Scott County. Like it wasn't, like it didn't need any, you know, fire to start with, but it's really, uh, uh, you know, when the, our two teams play each other, you know, the Henry Clay that I've scouted all season long wasn't the Henry Clay that we play. And we knew that coming in. We, we knew the Henry Clay was going to come in here uh, fired up and, and they played, heck on, they played well. You know, that first half, they played about as well as, uh, as, as I've seen Henry Clay play. Henry Clay's 7 0 lead didn't discourage Scott County in what became a 30 point win. I thought both teams were really jacked up. And I, I mean, to be honest with you, I looked at the scoreboard one time and thought, well, you know, I had joked about in, in pregame about nobody, it's not going to be a shutout. You know, nobody's going to throw a shutout out here tonight. And then, you know, for you know almost five minutes, it was a shutout. Uh, but I think that's what happens when you, when you have two high caliber teams. Uh, both teams are very athletic. Both teams uh, knew the importance of that game. And, uh, yeah, we were getting good shots. It wasn't like we were forcing. We were getting good shots. It just so happened that we settled down. And then our shots even got better as the night progressed. Uh, you know, I, I really feel like we did less and got more. Uh, we, we, we only talked, what, 58 shots. And I was like, you know, usually we want to be 80, 90 shots. But, you know, when you score on almost half of those possessions, uh, it, it really uh, makes things go better. And we got a, a good run. A third quarter had a, a really good quarter come out of halftime. And, you know, that's something that we didn't even talk about this year is coming out of halftime. Uh, you know, that first four minutes, and uh, I was really pleased uh, to get a good district win at home again in front of a great home crowd. When's the last time Scott County shot 60% of the game? You guys were closing 59 point whatever last night. It's <laughs> been a while, and, and they were good shot, and then 27 assists. Yeah. So, I mean, it wasn't, uh, you know, I'm watching this, I'm going to create. It was we moved the ball around and, and got some great opportunities, got some great looks, and then we finished, you know. Uh, it don't matter how good the pass is, if you don't finish the shot, it kind of goes, uh, you know, to the wayside. Scott County will try to keep its season opening win streak intact in tough games against Frederick Douglass and Muhlenberg County. Uh, we know Coach Ransom, we, we, we kind of know what to expect there. And uh, yeah, it'll, it'll be a, a, a unique situation. Again, you know, Douglas, this is the first time Douglas and Scott County has ever played girls basketball. So, uh, you know, we're excited to play the game at home as well. You know, this is a district game for us. Uh, so it's very important. Uh, day off. Day to you know get some shots up and then come back and go to Muhlenberg. Used to be Muhlenberg County uh, or New Muhlenberg North. Uh, Mike Harper used to be there in 2001 when we met uh, when he was uh, at Muhlenberg North. We met regular season Lexington Catholic, and then we turned around and met again uh, in state tournament that year. And he and I have kept a relationship from there. And 
Mike came down and helped us out last year with scheduling on a Saturday, and so this is our return trip to Muhlenberg County. Uh, you know, great facilities, uh, you know, incredibly well coached team, uh, and, it's going, and we expect to, you know, a really good game there. They're, I believe they're six and one, five and one coming in, you know, like everybody else. Everybody else is undefeated when we play them, so, uh, you know, it's just going to be another good test for us to see how we can get on a big charter like a college team does, ride for three hours, get off the bus and perform, and then get back on the bus and uh, take a day of rest and get ready for the Lexington Catholic Tournament. All right, that was Coach Helton, uh, coach of the undefeated Lady Cards, and uh, he's been mostly excited about things. You can, sometimes during timeouts, he, he's been getting a little frustrated. I know the Clay County game was a source of frustration. They didn't come right out of the gates. He was very calm against Henry Clay. I think he expected that game to be tough. I expected to get punched in the mouth a little bit and liked the way that the Lady Cards responded to that. As always, special guests, we talk to two a week, and the Lady Cards are such a team that you can talk to two players a week, and by week five or six of this show, you're still going to be hearing from people that play a lot. Uh, case in point, this week, we, we got some people that have uh, started games on the bench, but uh, you'll, see, you'll see them in the lineup, and you'll see them contributing often and in big ways. Let's see what our special guests had to say about the start to the season. Seniors Zakiah Holt and Lexi Hoffman like the team's chemistry and attitude so far. I feel like we've all been communicating really well, we've been able to like push through and everything. So I think this week's been really tough, but I think it's for the better. Like all these games are preparing us for districts, and so I feel like these little battles that we have and us coming out with the win is great, and it's doing us for districts. Um, we've been like really like making like our own plays, like making them play like to our pace and stuff. Um, we don't want to let them dictate that, dictate what we do. Um, we've been running really well with the ball. We've been shooting really well. Um, we all play together as a team, and if we continue to do that, then we'll be fine. Holt and Hoffman are typical of Scott County's high energy off the bench. It's fantastic, like just being able to know like the next person that's coming in for you is ready to, you know, go kick butt. It's just awesome and it's intimidating to another team. Like they don't know that we have these silent killers on our team coming and they're they're not slowing down or anything and it's just that continuous train just going through. The depth of this team like really does um, help that. Um, we all know that like if someone else can't do it then someone else can step in and do it. The role of Scott County's sixth player fits Holt's personality, while Hoffman's defense has been a cornerstone. Just go in there because the other team, they usually all the six men, oh, you know, they're nothing. Oh, well, I'm going to show you. I'm going to come out here and I'm going to kick your butt and just kind of put that team on edge. And so I just feel like that's my role is just kind of be like that silent killer, but also that emotional leader for my team and make sure that everybody on my team is hyped up and that if they had a bad moment to let them know it's okay and put that play to the pass. It's pretty different this year. Um, I'm getting to go out there more and um, get to do my thing. Um, my main role, like I like to play defense. And so as long as I get deflections and stuff, then the offense will come with it. The Henry Clay win was arguably Scott County's most impressive to date. I think the key to that one was just all of us just having that same goal, and that same mindset that night and that we were all communicating. I feel like that was just the best we ever communicated together and just play together. And I just feel like that just came with just all having that same mindset, which is great because I can only imagine our mindset when we play them in districts, you know, how strong and together we're gonna be. Early deficits such as the one against Henry Clay haven't discouraged the Lady Cards. We just know each other very well, you know. We know that as a team, we can pull this out. We, we know our strengths and our weaknesses and that 7-0 and that in the beginning of the game yesterday, you know, we knew that, oh, they're not joking, but we know our skills too, that we can pull this out and what we've done the previous games. So we're gonna continue to just stay on our same mindset and not fall into their distraction and what they're doing and just continue to play Scott County basketball. We just move our feet when the ball's in the air. We know to move our feet while it's in the air so we can get that deflection and go. And we know that we have people running down the court fast enough to get the ball and lay it up. Hoffman says the cards can't afford to let up after a 6-0 start. We are in a very good spot right now. What's the, what's the emphasis going forward as far as things you want to improve as a group? Um, things we could improve as a group would be just to like uh, keep focused and not to let not to let it uh, uh, get to us and just make sure that we keep going.